Hey guys, Lunar here. Welcome to this Let's Build for an Arena at the Starlight Drive-In. If you watch previous videos of mine, you will know that this is episode 46, I think, of the Fallout Settlement Guide. I recently changed the name, though, in case you were wondering. We are taking a break from building our raider camp at the castle because I wanted to get some of the work done here on the arena just before the workshop DLC comes out where we can have some of our own animals that fight each other and stuff. Before I explain everything that's here, there's not that much, but I want to go over it. Um, some of you guys have been asking me why I never made a video for explaining some of the uh, new stuff in the trailer for the workshop DLC. And the simple reason is, guys, I just run out of time. And um, by the time I did have any time, it was already like 36 hours after it had been out. And there were plenty of videos on YouTube about it already. However, for the actual DLC coming out, I will try and get a video up within kind of like the first 45 minutes or so of the actual DLC coming out. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. But anyway, we're here at the Starlight Drive-In and I'm going to be going over what I built here what I plan to build and just start building on some of the ideas that I have for the arena. Now obviously I want to keep some of the stuff just kind of simple because I want to replace it with new stuff that comes out with the actual workshop DLC. For example, over here I've put in these walls but I will be replacing those with the new walls, the kind of iron corrugated ones that look like the walls from the Mechanist Slayer that are part of the cement blocks that you can kind of make out from the workshop video. But here, what I originally done was, I was gonna turn this into arena originally. If you remember back to when I was building Sanctuary, I went over that I wanted to build something along that here. And it was more like a kind of a arena for trading because I wanted it to be this entire place to be some kind of outpost for all of these kind of people, provisioners, okay? And if you take a look at my map, let me get my map out real quick. I'm going the wrong way. If we go along to my map, you can see if I go to show supply lines, all of my provisioners I have so far go here. So that was my plan originally. And then after that, I kind of gave up on the arena idea. And when I built this, because I did actually destroy the entire settlement, you guys never saw it. I built it and then destroyed it. I built this platform here and I was gonna build like a marketplace onto this platform here. I didn't really like it being on the ground. And so that's what I built this for. But, but with the announcement of the workshop DLC, obviously, I wanted to build an arena somewhere and there's not really any better place to build something this big than the Starlight Drive-In. I can't think of really anywhere else, maybe other than Spectacle Island, that has got a big enough space. But the good thing here is we've kind of got like, oh, we've already got stuff here. Spectacle Island's a bit bare at the minute. So we have this space here, okay? This is actually gonna look really, really cool, I have to admit. It will be open to the air. We're not gonna put a roof on this place. This thing here, I don't really know what this is, but I kind of like the way it looked. It goes up and across and onto here. And I was thinking of adding one that goes from there roughly all the way up and across, it will attach onto there, continue along, and down this side, okay? So I don't know why, but it's kind of like a, a sky platform kind of area. Also, you can get from one side of over there to here without having to go through all of the actual arena part because we're gonna have all this filled up with stuff and we don't really want to kind of have that in the way when you're trying to get across. So this was kind of what it was. You can get from one side to the other like this, okay? Obviously, we'll make it look slightly better than this. It's a bit bare just now. As always, I just build things with these cubes and then I kind of add in the detail later because I like to get the shape right before I actually put a lot of detail in. Um, there's a random skeleton lying right here. Don't know how that got there. So as you guys can see, this is gonna look pretty cool already. This fence here is just a guideline. Uh, same with the floor here. I did kind of try and get rid of this stuff. Let me get out my menu. I did try to get rid of the shack floor here, or the foundation floor, you can see. There's plenty of space under there, but the problem is that the ground is just too uneven and I can't get anything to go in. So instead of having kind of the arena down the way, which I probably would have preferred, we're gonna have to have it here and we're gonna have to build the 
any seating areas up the way from here, but I guess it doesn't make too much of a difference in the end. So let me add that back in. Where am I going? Floor. We'll go for the foundation. But like I said, when the workshop DLC comes out, I will replace these walls with the kind of iron fence kind of ones that come with the DLC. They, they look like the fence that you get in the Mechan Slayer, so hopefully it's about the same as that, because I really like that. And this will be replaced with cement floor, hopefully. But what I was thinking for this entire place, okay, or just this part, is if this is the arena, okay, I've only built half just now, so you guys can kind of see the inside. What we can do is we can put on, like, I need a roof. Let me get a roof. We get a roof on to there. Okay. And we can fill this all the way along. Just so you can see what it's going to look like. Obviously, I will have to rebuild all of this because it's all very, very uneven. Which I don't like. I don't like things being uneven. But we'll have like an inside part. We'll have to have, obviously, a place for all the creatures to go. Let me... Like we can have like an entrance here. Which will obviously be some kind of gate that closes. Because we can't have things getting out of the arena once they're in it. But we have this here. And then if I get a little staircase, which... So we can see up here. This is where we'll start to build kind of our first layer of seating right round. It'll obviously go right round in a square. And then we'll start to layer up the way so there's kind of like stacks of seating, just like any other arena. And we'll try to fill up as much of this space as we possibly can. In this direction, we can only go back, say, we can only go back three kind of planks of flooring. And I kind of have an idea for how we will build like the seating, so I'm going to build that in a second. But basically, this is the general shape that we're going with. We'll also have to think of, I want this to be kind of as realistic as possible, you know, like this is actually an arena. And so we will have to keep somewhere where the creatures actually live. I know they kind of teleport in, but if we're going to use our imagination a bit, then we'll have to have like a storage area where actually we keep creatures. There is a lot of space in this settlement, but with so much being taken up by the arena, it doesn't leave a lot. It does leave all this kind of over here, and we'll kind of have to figure that out. We'll probably have to build a bit up the way as well. We do have a bit of space on this side as well where we can do it. But then on the other hand, this is actually a settlement, and I still want it to be a functioning settlement where people can come and, you know, we still need stores and all that stuff, but I don't really want it to be on the inside. So it's going to be a lot of work to try and figure out, but we will get there. So what I want to do, guys, is we figured out the shape of the arena. Like I say, I don't want to build too much of it because I want to stick to building it when we actually get some new stuff. But I was thinking for seating. Okay, let me get out. Also, guys, I was thinking a good idea for kind of like the edges of all four corners it would be to have like built up flooring. I don't know if I can get this to go on properly let me try i think if we go there and you know you can build it all the way up i'm not going to build too much kind of want to build space and then you get rid of all this okay i'm getting rid of the wrong no i'm getting rid of the right one these ones i need to get rid of as well if we get rid of all these i will obviously put a lot more effort into it than that Yes, yes, yes. I want to get rid of all that. And it kind of has this cool stacked effect that goes all the way up. I was thinking of having these kind of going all the way up. Just until it's about the same height as where the actual arena kind of floors are. It was just an idea that I had. But sticking with the idea of these floors, then I'm going to kind of use that for actually building seating. And I was thinking if we go to... Let me see... We need to go to furniture, okay? And there's not really a lot of blocks that are kind of at this height. But if we use these, which are cabinets, which kind of get used a lot in the actual building for actual blocks, we can have like that there, all right? And then we need to get out some kind of seating. I was thinking um, some kind of bench rather than actual seat because we'll get a lot more space out of it. So like a bench, or we could even go with 
these kind of benches. I guess you guys can let me know down below which one you prefer. And then we're behind that, we can get some of the floor that I just built, but using the little ones rather than the big ones. So there's no particular reason why we need this. I just like the way it looks, so I'm going to go... I guess we'll move the chairs to fit in with this rather than the other way around. I need to get one of these to go somewhere. Build somewhere. It will fit in. There we go. And I will get that to go up. And we can build off of that one. So we've got... Is that the right height? So we can get rid of all of this stuff. Okay. Again, I would make this much neater than it is right here. When I actually build it. And it's going to be built on top of there as well. So don't forget that. So, like I said, what I'm thinking about for the actual flooring, if we add on the there, there, and some on the back there. That looks perfect. Get rid of all that. Uh, I need to get... Hello, guys. These, I'm actually using this chair. Come on. We'll get out some of the benches and some of these containers. So, they'll be like here. We can use the rug glitch to get them to join onto each other because obviously they're not really going to join that well here. They, they kind of do, but I prefer them to join a little bit better than that. We'd have a bench here. And we can have a bench here. Let's get out some of the fence. Okay, we'll get some wooden fence to match. Wood and fence or maybe there'll be new fence perhaps like that and then we can even have something on here I'm not sure what we have the next layer of seating so we need to get out another set of these cabinets where am I looking for furniture cabinets okay we'll put it like right there and there and we need more seating we're seeing. I always think that's a bench, but it's a shelf. We obviously need to leave some space to walk along. I think that's plenty of space there. And we can have a bench there. And you see, guys, that is our kind of arena seating. We will have to add in some stairs. I'm not sure how I'm going to get those to work yet, but we'll get them to work. Let me see if I can just add in a ladder and, or those little steps. These little steps might work. Yeah, I think they will work good. If we just kind of have one there. Because that will give us up to that layer. Well, let me... Oh, that works out perfect. I love it when things work out. And then we will have, obviously, another set of steps for the next layer. Let me get in some flooring. So the next ones will be... And uh, where are they? They were just right in front of there. So the next ones will be over here somewhere. And why don't they place anymore? Uh, that'll do. You see, guys? And then we'll have as much of these as we can fit in until we run out of space. We'll just go based on the amount of space that's between these walls here and the screen there. So I think, guys, I'm very, very happy with the way this arena is going to turn out. I know I didn't get too much built in this episode, but I want to go over things first. I want to get your guys' opinion on things first before I continue building a bit more. And also, I'm waiting for the actual DLC to come out before I build quite a lot of the details. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you uh, have any ideas that you would think I should add, let me know in the comments below. If you are enjoying the build, don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, share on social media because that actually helps me out the most. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.